Fire's typically been a part of the evolution of the redwood forest. So you can see these trees behind me have been burned probably several times. And the result has been a big cavity that's been basically burned out between these two growing trees. We call that a goose pin. It's believed that old settlers sometimes actually use those to house livestock. You'll notice these big redwoods behind me have very, very thick bark and it's extremely fire resistant. So you may get charcoaling like you see on the outside of the tree, but it arms and protects the inner growing part of the tree so that they can take a fairly hot fire and still continue to live. We've had a history of fire suppression here in the Redwood region for almost a hundred years. And what you see around us is the result of that. When you look out around this grove of redwood trees right here, you can see that there's many young trees that have come in all around us. And these trees likely wouldn't be in here in such density were it not for the fact that fires have been ex excluded. Fires would have burned along the forest floor here and, and kept many of these trees from from germinating and, and living. 